good morning children now we know the two properties related to subtraction of whole numbers that are closure property and commutative property let's see the other properties related to subtraction of whole numbers first let us try to subtract three whole numbers what is 6 minus 4 minus 2 we can do it in different ways while subtracting three or more whole numbers we can subtract them in different ways by grouping them in different ways first let us try to group 6 and 4 and subtract them first so 6 minus 4 it is equal to 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 and we bring down minus 2 now we will do 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 now let us try another way this time we will group 4 and 2 so this becomes 6 minus 4 minus 2 we know 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so let's do 6 minus 2 and this is equal to 4 so what do we see when we change the group for subtraction the answer is not the same what does it tell us that while subtracting whole numbers the result changes when the grouping is changed so we can say associative property does not hold true for subtraction of whole numbers now let us see the property of zero what is 3 minus 0 equal to and what is 9 minus 0 equal to we will see that subtraction of zero results in the same number 3 minus 0 is equal to 3 and if we do 9 minus 0 it is equal to 9 what do we see we see if we subtract 0 from any number the answer is the same whole number like 3 minus 0 equal to 3 and same way while subtracting 0 from 9 we get the answer as 9 only so we can see subtraction of zero results in the same number so we can say when we subtract zero from any whole number the result remains the number itself this is the property of zero related to subtraction of whole numbers so today we saw the two properties of subtraction of whole numbers first we saw that associative property is not true which means while subtracting three or more whole numbers the result changes when the grouping is changed for example 6 minus 4 minus 2 when grouping is changed that is if we do 6 minus 4 first and here we do 4 minus 2 first then the answers are not same in both the cases lastly we saw the property of zero for subtraction of whole numbers we saw on subtracting zero from any whole number the result remains the number itself like 3 minus 0 is 3 that's all for today bye bye children